Welcome to Electron Line. Today we're going to do a video on Pi. And why do we do a video on Pi today? Because today is Pi Day. Not the type you can eat, it's the mathematical Pi Day. Pi, the number Pi, which means it's the circumference, it's equal to the ratio of the circumference divided by the diameter of a circle. Now, most people know Pi as 3.14, but very few people know any decimal places past that. Now, it turns out that pi is 3.14159265358979 and on and on and on indefinitely. There's no end to it because pi has a non-repeating decimal or pi is what we call any rational number. We cannot put pi in, the, in terms of a ratio of two integer numbers. There's no such thing. So, for many years now, for thousands of years, people have been trying to find out the true value of pi to as many decimal places as possible. And with computers and special mathematical techniques, we've gone and found pi to an incredible number of decimal places. But, for us, can we find pi to a reasonable number of decimal places using everyday common things that we have at home, like a tape measure like this, and maybe a pie pan, or the lid of a jar, or something like that, and sure enough, what we have to do here is simply measure the circumference of one of these very common household items and the diameter and then we can figure out pi for ourselves. So let's see how accurate we can get things by measuring something like, as simple as this. Now, since this is a little tricky, I'm going to invite my lovely wife to come and help us out. So she actually is the force behind all these videos. Ever wonder why we have so many videos on YouTube? It's because my wife has done all that tremendous amount of work filming, editing, producing, and putting those amazing thumbnails on there as well. So I'm very grateful for that. So she's gonna help me measure this. So we need to find the diameter of this lid. It happens to be the lid of a mayonnaise jar, by the way. So we're going to measure the, uh, we're going to start out with the circumference and let's see here how far is that one's around and it looks like it's about 36.2 centimeters. So 36.2 centimeters for the circumference, we better write that down. So C equals 36.2 centimeters and now we need to measure the diameter. Oh, we'll take this end right here, put it right on the edge of the lid and then we come this way and it looks like it's about it helps if you kind of move it back and forth like that until you find the maximum value it looks like the maximum value is right around 12.4 yeah I would say 12.4 centimeters all right so let's try that diameter equals 12.4 centimeters and so according to that device we have pi equals to the circumference divided by the diameter, which is equal to 36.2 divided by 12.4. And let's see what we get. So 36.2 divided by 12.4, and we get 2.919. Hmm, not that close, is it? 2.919. So we're not quite where we want it to be. All right, well, we did our best. Let me see if I got that right. So 36.2 divided by 12.4 and 2.919. That's what it is. All right. So let's try something a little bit bigger. So now we're going to try a pilot. All right. So starting like this. We're going all the way around. Now this is a little bit tricky. Definitely something you would have a hard time doing by yourself. And so let's see if we can keep it on there. Okay, so now we got it right there. If you can hold it right there. No, no, that's fine. Because if you hold it there, that should be perfectly fine. It's right around 72.0 centimeters. All right. So C equals 72.0 centimeters. And now we have to find the diameter. And, oh, let's turn around. We want to do centimeters. And right at the edge, right there, and right here, and it looks like 22.9 centimeters. All right. So diameter equals 22.9 centimeters. So pi would be equal to the circumference divided by diameter, 72.0 divided by 22.9. And let's see what we get this time. I expect something a little bit better than that, but we'll see. It was tricky to measure that pi pan. 72 divided by 
and I get 3.1441. Wow, 3.1441. Now let's take a look here and let's take a look there. 3.141. 3.144. Look how close we got with a pie pan. Well, it is after all pie day. Now, one more try. We're going to try and measure this large thing right here. This is, I'm not even sure what this is, but then I don't spend that much, I don't spend that much time in the kitchen. <laughs> all right. Okay. Coming around here. Now, if you hold that, we can drop that part. Right there. Come around all this right. Way. And it looks like 129.0, right on the nose, 129 centimeters. Okay, so circumference equals 129.0 centimeters, and the diameter is equal to... Right at the edge, and going back and forth, and it looks like... I would say 40.9 centimeters. All right, 40.9 centimeters. So this should be our most accurate measurement if we did it correctly. Let's find out. 129 divided by 40.9 equals 3.1540. 3.3.1540. Hmm, let's see here, 3.144. 3.15, actually, this was our best measurement. Guess what? When we used the pie pan, we got the most accurate measurement for pie. And look how close we actually got. Pretty impressive. So if you want to know what pie is, just take a pie pan, take a measuring tape, and go at it and see if you can prove what the ancients knew to be pie. That's what we find out on Pi Day.